Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. So let's do this. Let's try to be structured for the folks out there that um, don't know that much about you, haven't heard um, about you. Um, just go back to the beginning of Larry Sharp. Tell us, if you can, briefly who you are, how you came into being, and how you came to be uh, a libertarian, be in politics. It is super boring. If people care, they can go to LarrySharp.com, but I'll give you the, I'll give you the, the thumbnail. 2012, I am annoyed, angry, upset about politics. Um, I found Gary Johnson, um, and I, he seemed to make sense to me. He was and still is an entrepreneur. He was running the Libertarian Party. I heard him speak, and I said, this guy makes sense. And I thought, who are you guys, librarians? What? Oh, libertarians. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> What were you before? What were you I before was, that? I was a nothing. I was a, oh, okay. I didn't really care, right? I okay. was a whatever. I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. care. Mm -hmm. I, I I wasn't really I wasn't I've never been a part of a party in my life. Okay. Rich and I used to talk about politics all the time, but I was never a part of a of a of a party. I didn't so really okay, care. so you weren't like you you weren't in the Democratic Party, you weren't in the nope. Republican Party. Did you have any leanings? Like if 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 I say to you, what direction were you leaning in? I know obviously I see USMC there on your arm. You were a Marine. Did you have a yep. direction you were leaning in? What's funny, as a small kid, I was I was uh, raised in the Bronx with a typical Bronx liberal family, and so politics was easy. Democrats good, Republicans bad. Why? Right. Cause <laughs> mom and dad say so. Done. Right, right, Very right. easy. <laughs> but I joined the Marine Corps when I was 17, and some of you may know the Marine Corps is the most conservative branch of the branches. Mm -hmm. So when I got into the Marine Corps, the people that I respected, the vast majority of them in my leadership, they were mostly conservative. Mm -hmm. So I think I kind of began to lean a bit more conservative and be more Republican as a 20-something. I think I was kind of more that, but I didn't. I didn't join a party. Right. I didn't really care. Mm -hmm. um, by the time, um, by the time Nader came out, I was so disappointed in what was happening, um, I became a Nader supporter, and I couldn't tell you what his policies were. Remember mm -hmm. that, Rich? Nader later? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nader yeah. later, because we knew we couldn't win. So yeah. we were like, we'll get what Nader was, later. Nader, Nader, was an he, Nader was an independent? He was a... Uh... Well, it's funny. I was, I was so not into it, I actually thought that Nader replaced Perot. Like, that was like my face. Like, I thought, oh, like, he's the third party guy. They kind of mm -hmm. replace each other. Um, but yeah, so I just thought Nader was the right answer because I didn't care at all. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, 2008, I was on the Obama train. I okay. really thought that he was going to change. I really thought he was going to be the guy. He was different. He was the one. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Is that is that because um, of ethnicity or because you know, like you said, you because I wanted to believe it, man. Okay. I wanted to believe that someone could save us. I wanted to believe that somebody could be an actual uniter. Mm -hmm. I wanted to believe, I mean, his rhetoric was amazing, right? The rhetoric was awesome. I, mm -hmm. he, he talked the great game. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to believe that somebody- It was good marketing, for us. sure. It yeah. was, and, yeah. I, and I believed it. Um, and people get mad when I say it, but no, I believed it. I wanted to believe it. I did believe it. I thought he was going to be the one, and I hoped he could save us. And when I saw that he was no better than the rest, that he wasn't going to save us, that he wasn't going to do anything that was worth anything, when I realized that, that's when I was disenchanted. I was considering not voting anymore. Oh wow! Um, I was disenchanted because I, I I felt betrayed. Okay, I don't think because again, I believed it. I right. thought he would change. Well, I don't think you should feel bad. Lots of lots of lots of um, libertarians, Republicans, uh, white women, etc., voted for Obama. Lots of black people, obviously, you know, got in there and voted for him. Um, so I don't think you should feel bad about it. I think lots of people in America felt that way. Uh, some people didn't, you know, I didn't. I remember my kids asking me who I was going to vote for back then, and I said not Obama, and then they started crying. Remember that? They were younger, and I was like, too bad for you. <laughs> you know? Um, so I happened to hear Gary Johnson speak in 2012, mm -hmm. and it kind of reinvigorated me. And I was, I didn't actually believe it, because I thought I've been fooled before. He sounds good. Maybe he's just full of it, right? Mm -hmm. So I actually went for the first time in my life, and I began to, you know, go to political meetings. I'd never been to one before. I went okay. to one here in Queens, and I started meeting libertarians, and I said, you know what, these are my people. And when I figured that out, I, I joined the party. 
Um, I supported our gubernatorial candidate in 2014. I actually went with him, did debate prep with him. I took time off. I drove around, donated. I did I did all the stuff to support a candidate in 2014. Um, we got slaughtered in 2014. Um, I was very disappointed about how bad we did in 2014. 2016, Gary Johnson was running again. I wanted to be his running mate. So in the Libertarian Party, we're very different. In the Republican and Democratic Party, the president selects their vice president and they and they go as a ticket. Mm-hmm. In the Libertarian Party, they are two separate elections. So mm-hmm. the Libertarian Party picks their vice president separately and picks their president separately. And sometimes they're not who they wanted. Oh, okay. The Libertarian Party controls that. So mm-hmm. there's, there's there's no there's no, you know, let's grab some crazy person that we just want to make work. Mm-hmm. Well, we get that anyway, but just not by the president. So I ran and I lost that election to former Governor Bill Weld, uh, the governor from Governor Massachusetts. I lost uh, by 32 votes. Not that I'm counting. I'm yeah. not counting, Rich. You're counting, Rich. Not yeah. me. I'm not well, counting. I think not that I'm counting. I'm just saying. Yeah. But I lost that by 32 votes. Yeah, I think uh, that's then, why lots of us didn't support the uh, Libertarian ticket. Because I think a lot of gun guys tend to be um, somewhere um, between Libertarian and Conservative. Mm-hmm. You know, and we wanted to, but I think I think it was the selection of Weld, right? Right, Richard? A lot a lot of people weren't happy with yeah. Weld, it's true. Yeah. A lot were. Yeah. So that's an unfortunate thing. Okay, I'm sorry, I cut you off there. No worries. No, the the Weld was even though a lot of libertarians didn't like Weld, Weld was still good for our party in the long run because mm-hmm. he got us four and a half million votes. Him and Gary Johnson got four and a half million votes. Mm-hmm. Gary Johnson only got a little over a million votes in twenty twelve. Then we got four and a half million votes mm-hmm. in 2016, which was huge for us, right? Mm-hmm. We're a small party, right? Mm-hmm. We're, we're, by the way, though, even though we're a small party, we are the only other party besides the two major parties that's in all 50 states. Mm-hmm. The only one. Every other small party is not in all 50 states. We are. So yeah. even though we're, the, we're a small party, we are the largest and the only real third party. So four and a half million votes for us was huge. That was about 3% of the vote. Uh, the highest we'd ever done. Huge loved it. So in 2018, I ran for governor because I thought we were hot enough, and I took a, a year and a half off, and I crossed the state, you know, trying to get people over me, and they did, which mm-hmm. was great. And also, I learned how dirty politics is, mm-hmm. which was good too. So now I know how to run a campaign. I know how to, you know, navigate those horrible things, those obstacles that I fell into out of ignorance. Okay. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.